I'm trying to get the platinum trophy in almost every single game in my 470 game backlog. On today's menu, we got Injustice 2. Injustice 2 is a fighting game made by the same people that made Mortal Kombat. The big issue with this game is the online, but it's nothing compared to the cat call trophy grind. First trophy I get for not being hit for 10 seconds while in an online match. Would you like some crumpets with that? Is for ducking 10 times in a row. When Canaries Cry is to finish a match with Black Canaries level 2 Canaries Cry. It's electric is for getting the final hit using Black Adam's Orbs of Seth. And after finishing everything that has to do with the story, including all alternate paths, I get. Those trophies were achieved when I was just playing the game with my friend when I was just not streaming. Getting into the trophies I got while streaming, I decided to go for all of the character based trophies first. The only issue is I had no idea how many there were. While in Metropolis, I have to knock an opponent through the transition at 430. Nice. Beating Batman with Bane's meter burn Bane bomb gets nice. Out of nowhere, that's a Randy Orton reference. Using Gorilla Grodd, I can get two trophies. One for throwing three kegs while in the bar in Metropolis. And the other is for beating the Flash using his mind control. This. Nice. There's another time related trophy that has you knock an opponent through the Empire Theater transition at 8 p.m. Poison Ivy needs to defeat an enemy with her kiss of death. You should get an idea of what's going on, so let's just go ahead and do rapid fire. Using the Empire Theater background three times. Three? Nice. Cheetah's meter burn blood lunge to beat Wonder Woman. Trophy? Nice. Using the Slaughter Swamp Crocodile to finish someone. That's probably the better option right here. There we go. Using the Meter Burn Life Drain with Atrocitus to beat Green Lantern. Yes. Swamp Thing has to beat Ivy with his ult. Nice. Deadshot has to win a match without missing any shots, but only using a minimum of 10. Beating Batman with Robin's Assassin Strike Meter Burn. Nice. Perfect. Aquaman has to use his super to beat anyone. Nice. Batman has to use cape counter to beat anyone. Captain Cold has to beat the Flash using his character ability. Nice. I decided I would use all of the environmentals in the Batcave and it would just be the transition? Oh no, that's it. Nice. Beating Captain Cold with Flash's super move gets hope. Trophy. Nice. Beating any enemy with Blue Beetle's Mandible Strike meter burn. Perfect. That was easy. All right. What is that? What is that trophy? Oh, we got the area transitions too. Perfect. Cyborg has to use his super to beat Robin. All right. When this is done, we should get a trophy. There we go. Firestorm has to use Meter Burn Molten Trap to beat Captain Cold. That was really dope. Nice. Green Arrow has to beat Black Canary with his super. Okay. So that should be a trophy when this is done. There we go. Green Lantern also has to use his super, but to beat Atrocitus. Yo, welcome back, Batman. So this should be another trophy. Bomb. Perfect. Harley has to beat the Joker with this combo. Perfect. Thank you. Joker has to beat the Batman with his super. So this should give me a trophy too here. Perfect. Against any enemy, Scarecrow has to win using Schizophrenia. I 
Yes, it is. Oh, I get it, because it's like a wishbone. Nice. Supergirl has to use 20 lasers and then beat Superman. So now, there we go. Superman has to beat Green Lantern using his super. Once this actually beats him, we're going to get another trophy. Perfect. Skill gap, that's a nice one. Wonder Woman has to be anyone using her meter burn lasso of truth. Perfect. Dr. Fate has to be anyone using his super. This is going to kill. There we go. Batman must send every Gotham villain through the Arkham transition. There we go. Perfect. There's a cameo from Zeus and Brainiac has to be any character using his character power. That was really easy. Okay. What is that? What is this? Win a match with each villain. Oh, okay, cool. I also decided I would go through and knock out all of the DLC character trophies. First up is Red Hood and he has to win using his super. Very brutal for a character in Injustice. Well, that should be... Bomb, another one. Same thing for Starfire. Whoa. Okay. Sub-Zero must connect 10 ice clones in a single match. And this should give us... Oh, I was gonna say. All right. Black Manta has to win it with his super. Okay, so this is gonna give us another trophy. I get it. I definitely get it. And it's deep fried, bro. <laughs> oh man, that's a good one. Same with Hellboy. Oh, he brings him to hell. That's pretty dope. That's pretty cool. The Atom has to use the Atom Lunge in order to win. Oh, bro, bro, Atom is awesome, bro. Tell me this guy is a dope dude. That's his down. Like, that's me holding down on the controller. That's fucking dope. Nice. Enchantress has to use her super to win. Oh, buddy. We're about to go. Huh. All right, that's pretty cool, I guess. Not bad. That should be a trophy. Nice. For the turtles, you have to win a match with all four of the turtles. Trophy. Nice. Turtle time. And Darkseid has to win after summoning all of his parademons. I summoned every parademon? Nice. Perfect. There is a trophy for summoning Kid Thunder while using Raiden, but I was farming this for like 20 minutes and I still didn't get it. I decided I would just knock this out in the next section, which is the multiverse event section. Before starting this grind, I had to join a guild. I decided I'd just join a random guild. Uh, what's up, Uriah? Nice. There we go. While doing the multiverse tutorials, I hit level 35. Are we level 35 now? Nice. That's what I like to see. Next up, I went to knock out five AI battle simulator wins. Is that a trophy? There we go. Thank you. While grinding all character endings, I attempted to get the Kid Thunder trophy. Please summon the guy. Yes. Thank you so much. Crap. As I continued going for the endings, I managed to get 25 multiverse completions. Oh, look, there's a trophy. And I also performed every super move. Nice. After viewing all character endings, there we go. Now I can grind out the last 70 or so multiverse events that I have to get in order to hit 100. Luckily, I took what I learned from the MK11 Platinum and just ended up doing the endless tower and ending after the first match there we go perfect now is the time i decided i would open my mother boxes doing this i got a trophy for getting 50 epic pieces of gear nice 100 rare pieces nice 200 common pieces there's that one all right and for opening 100 mother boxes all together after opening these, I have a bunch of gear that I can sell in order to hit the 250 that I need for this. Thank you. 
Yes. Next up, I went to knock out three of the easier trainings in the advanced or strategy sections. Yes. Yes. With the multiverse grind finished, it's time to go into online. Before actually starting this section, I want to give a shout out to Mr. Lopez and also to Blue Lemon, who helped getting me these trophies, at least most of them. The first trophy I got was for beating somebody while only having 10% health left. I did this by letting my health get super low and then just pounding away until... I thought so. All right, there we go. Now I have to dethrone a character from King of the Hill using Harley's double trouble move. Thank you so much. In order to get off with his head, you have to dethrone five kings. The only issue is you can't do this in private matches. So I went into a regular room and started my own King of the Hill. Nice. Yeah. For I voted, I had to vote correctly 10 times, but you can't do this in private matches. So I just joined a random King of the Hill and kept voting until uh, it was literally now it's time to struggle and rank. This is kind of annoying since you have to win the entire set and you can't just go for one win. You have to do all three matches. There wasn't really anything crazy that happened except this guy. Let's see if he, if he keeps talking shit. You suck now. What was that? What was that, bitch? Huh? What happened, bro? What happened, bro? What happened, bro? Shut the fuck up. What happened, bro? What happened, bro? The fuck? Keep talking shit, bitch. What's up, Joe? Sorry. Sorry, you guys. I have to get hyped because my dog is making me hype. Come on now. Keep fighting me. I will keep clapping them cheeks. Oh, gosh. He left. Thanks for the win, bro. Have a good day. <laughs> I'm tired of this motherfucker. You was popping all that good shit a second ago, then you got kicked in your chest. Oh, shit, dude. Please, thank you so much. Now that ranked is complete, I have to go and win 50 player matches. Great, bro, the energy drink sucks cock, bro. The energy, oh, fuck yeah. And altogether, hit 200 online matches played in between different things. Nice. Finally, we're done with the online grind. Oh boy, the level grind is next. Since Batman was already level 26 after doing everything with him, I went and got him up to level 30 for this. Nice, we're done, yes. I found that the best way to get XP is to go into a two player game and make sure you set the time to 30 seconds and the rounds to two. Also make sure the second controller has the highest level character that the other account has. And all you have to do at this point is just beat the other character as fast as possible without taking any damage. And this should get you about 500 to 1000 XP per match. Using this method, I got all characters to level 20 in about 16 hours, but that doesn't include Batman because he was already level 30 at this point. Yeah! Finally, we did it. This took a while, but it didn't take nearly as long as the cat call trophy, which was next. In order to get this trophy, you have to first get an ability for Catwoman that you can get from mother boxes, a random ability multiverse, or from her legendary multiverse. This trophy took me at least 40 hours to get. Yes, I wasn't streaming for the entire time, but that's because I had to do things off stream since I can't be streaming 24 seven. And with that 40 hours, I managed to get over 100 hours of playtime in just Injustice 2. I tried everything from opening at least a thousand mother boxes. There's probably a lot more than that, but I can't really go back and count every single mother box that I opened. I was also trying to get lucky by doing the random ability multiverse event, but I didn't get too lucky with it. I even tried to go for her legendary multiverse, but by the time I was going through it, I didn't even get anywhere near the 50 hours of playtime with her. I did end up streaming another game and I just kind of did this on the background and I just wanted to move on, but eventually I got it. Now that I have the ability, I can finally move on to finish Cheetah with this ability. 
There we go. Fight. And then... Yes. Finally, I got the trophy. It's game over. We are done with Injustice. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Comment down below if there's any games that you want me to go for the Platinum on, and I'll see if I can add it to the list.